Now joined by head men's and women's swim coach Katie Cameron. First off, coach, uh, well, the women head to NECs this week. Uh, talk a little bit about your guys' expectations uh, for this meet and your recipe for success for the event. We're really excited for the upcoming championships. We'll leave Wednesday morning, and for the first time, competition will start Wednesday night. We've gone to a new format. We've moved from a three-day format to what most other conferences do with a four-day format. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll open up with 200 medley relay and 800 freestyle relay. Um, we are ready. We've rested, um, kind of put our workload in early in the year. Now take a step back, fine tune some things, and really stay off our legs. Um, and it's a championship like the NEC has never seen before in terms of it's going to truly be a four-way battle. Um, in the past, it's always kind of been two teams battling it out, but I think this year it'll be four, so it'll be exciting. And then on the men's side, at uh, ECAC's same question. Um, the men's meet also always exciting. Um, they will. They've kind of got a different deal going on. Um, competition does start Friday, but Alex Kaczynski will travel down Wednesday because he's going to compete in a last chance qualifier on Thursday, where he hopes to get his Olympic trial cuts. Um, the men are, are again same kind of thing. They put their workload in in the beginning. It's now rest time. Practice is a lot shorter, a lot more fun. There's a lot happier people in there in practice, and they're ready to go fast. Um, our goal that we've spoke about all year has been to be top five at the ECAC meet. It's just hard because you never know who's going to be at the um, at the meet. Some sometimes teams go other other years. You never know. And the biggest difference really between this meet and the majority of your meets this season is obviously the three, four day uh, event schedule versus just the one day. Talk a little bit about the difference and kind of how you attack the three or four day schedule versus the one day. Right. In an ideal world, um, everybody's only swimming one event per day, so you get to spread it out. Um, you're not as fatigued going into your next race as you are in a dual meet. Um, and we've also had a lot more rest going into it, so they should feel pretty good um, with, with each race. You mentioned Alex Kaczynski a little bit, uh, but just talk about him specifically and the other seniors who this will be their uh, last event swimming for the black and gold. Right. Um, Alex, like we just spoke about, um, we're really hoping that he can have a repeat performance last year, as, uh, from last year. Last year he did win um, his first ECAC event. It was the first time a Bryant Bulldog has done that. Um, so we hope to feed off that again. We hope that he'll make an Olympic trial cut. I think he's got a chance in either the 50, the 100, or the 200. Um, and then it's the last time for um, Tim McGrath, who's been a great contributor, a uh, transfer, so he's only been here for two years. Um, Conrad always pulls through in the end, makes his cut when he has to, um, so we're excited to, to see him swim fast in the breaststroke events as well. Yeah, and then on the women's side, uh, two more seniors for you. Yeah, Amy D and Abby. Um, it'll it'll be an exciting day for them. They've both trained and did everything they were supposed to do all year, so I think we can see them um, most likely in three finals, um, be, you know, in top eight in three different events and be major point scorers for us. Well, Coach, uh, thanks a lot for your time, and good luck at uh, ECACs and NECs this week. Thanks, Heath. Go Bulldogs.